Hi, my name is Kai. And I'm Brian. My name is Eric. We are Project Despia. Despia stands for Dual Sided Solar Panel Piezoelectric Array. Project Despia is a renewable energy generator incorporating solar and rain energy. The purpose of the piezoelectric panel is to explore the fundamentals of piezoelectricity and utilize piezoelectric properties to capture measurable energy from rain or hail. What is piezoelectricity? Piezoelectricity comes from the Greek for piezo, which means to press or squeeze, and electric, which means amber, which was an old source of charge. Pressing or squeezing of piezoelectric materials causes generation of electrical charges. Subjecting piezoelectric materials to electric field causes internal mechanical strain. For the piezoelectric panel, mechanical energy from rain or hail is converted to electrical energy through PZT piezoelectric disc transducers. As you can see here, as the rain falls down, a force is applied to the piezoelectric disc, which is polarized in the direction shown. This causes the current to be in the direction shown in the diagram. The purpose of the piezoelectric panel is to explore the fundamentals of piezoelectricity and also utilize uh, the piezoelectric properties uh, in order to capture measurable energy from rain or hail. Um, here is our 10x6 array of series connected PZT piezoelectric disc. And what's going to happen is that the hail is going to fall onto these discs and then um, causing mechanical pressure, which will then be converted to AC. And uh, <clears throat> then the AC voltage is going to be rectified and smoothed uh, into DC uh, pulse voltage, which will supply current to, uh, to a battery. And uh, here is a simulation of the results. The solar energy source of the system is a solar panel. It has 10 cells connected in parallel, and each cell is rated at 6.5 6 volts, 1 watt. And uh, combined 10 cell, the tested result, we get 7 volts and 9.8 watts combined output. The purpose of the battery pack switch is to change battery pack configuration. When the batteries are in, se in series, they are in discharging mode. When they are in parallel, it's in charging mode. The battery pack output is regulated to 5 volts for USB load, and the regulation circuit reaches an efficiency of 65%. Hi, this is the solar part of our project. As you can see, we have a 10 cell in parallel. Each cell has 6 volt and 1 watt output ability. So combined, we get 7 volts and about 10 watts uh, output from this solar cell. This solar cell uh, feeds power into this, um, this enclosure, which uh, it charges two lithium-ion battery pack. And uh, there's a little switch here. This switch changes the battery configuration from in series to in parallel. And for, for discharging, we need a the battery pack to be in series and for charging mode we need the battery pack to be in parallel and uh, our output will be this USB cable and which can be connected to any USB load as I demonstrate right now I'm gonna charge up this MP3 player The purpose of the charge level indicator is to allow the user to monitor the remaining battery life. To operate the charge level indicator, the push button is pressed, which activates the charge level indicator circuitry. The maximum power consumption of the CLI is 20.3 milliwatts. Battery life is displayed on a 5 LED array. When 5 LEDs are eliminated, the battery terminal voltage is 7.6 volts or 100% capacity. And when only one LED is eliminated, the battery terminal voltage is 5.2 volts and 0% capacity. The purpose of the charge level indicator is to allow the user to monitor the remaining battery life. The operation is relatively simple. 
all that has to be done is when the batteries are in discharge mode, this red button is pressed and as you can see the battery status is displayed on the five LEDs and the batteries are fully charged because all five LEDs are lit. As the battery charge decreases, fewer lights will be illuminated until the battery is completely empty and no lights will light up. The purpose of the charger is to efficiently charge the lithium ion battery pack to provide overcharge protection. To operate the battery charger, push the charge reset button to activate the charger circuit. It takes about 5 to 6 hours to charge a fully depleted battery pack. The relay disconnects the battery when it is fully charged. The charger operates at about 95% efficiency. Now as you can see our MP3 player is fully charged and looking at our CLI our battery pack is completely discharged because none of the LEDs are on, so now it's time to charge the battery pack back. To charge, recharge the battery pack with the solar panel, all we have to do is flip the switch to the charging mode and then push the charging switch, which then in turn slips the relay to charging mode and illuminates this red LED. Once the battery pack is completely charged, the relay will automatically disconnect the battery pack and the red LED will turn off. The charging time usually takes about five to six hours. Okay, so now the battery is fully charged and as you can see, this LED is not illuminated anymore, which means that the battery is completely charged and that the relay has switched back into off mode. And we can also switch the battery into discharge mode. And looking at the CLI, all five LEDs are illuminated, which means the battery is finished charging. For help with the completion of Project Despia, we would like to thank Dr. Sam Villarreal, Charlie Jiha, Chris Jones, and Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering.